Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. Today, we are going to take a look into the tracking mechanics. And as title suggests, one of the field modifications, it's not worth to take and it's giving you drawbacks. How speed can give you drawbacks? Interesting. Also, before we are going to start everything, a big fat thanks for Scorpiani and for Bishops, two beautiful members of the World of Tanks community who shared this full information with me. Uh, Scorpiani links is down in, in the description, uh, Twitch link and obviously YouTube channel. And Bishops, thank you very much for helping me to test everything out and to prepare footage for uh, this video. You saved me countless of hours and it was a pleasure to brainstorm together with you to figure out the real values. Thank you and now without further ado let's start our journey. This is going to be a good one. So first things first fellas let's debunk the fact that you need to have um, pretty much ground resistance as field modification which I was recommending and many other content creators were recommending. How much all terrain resistances are helping for your tank and how much harm does it make? About the harm, we are going to talk in a moment, but first of all, let's cover the things where the speed goes. I want to show you examples how the things are looking like in the world of tanks and how much actual benefit are you getting for yourself while selecting this field modification. So without further ado, to the training room we go. So first things first in the test, what I want to explain for you that both of the tanks have maximum crews, both of the tanks are using the same equipment setup and both of the tanks are pretty much the same, right? This is the first thing what I want to say. What we are testing, we are testing um, the speed of the vehicles or across all ground resistances types such as hard ground resistance, that would mean streets. Uh, medium soft resistances, which is pretty much everything else in the game apart streets and apart swamps. And after that, we are testing the swampy areas such as Lakeville. I believe a lot of you notice that on the Lakeville, you are going very slowly whenever you are going to the one two line. That's what we are going to test, right? And that's what we are going to demonstrate. So first of all, I want to show you how much of the benefit um, the better ground resistance as field mode is giving for you, right? On the right side, you are seeing the guy without it. And on the left, you are seeing the guy who is having the ground resistance as tuned up, right? Uh, the distance is pretty much um, quite equal whenever we are starting. And as you can see, the guy with the, with the ground resistances are gaining a bit of the speed on us. And he is just a tiny touch quicker. But there is nothing, I can promise you that, fellas, I would not notice that whatsoever. Both of our setup is the same and as you can see speed is not noticeable so let's see how the things are going to look like on the medium ground resistances aka 99 percent of the maps which we are playing in i am the guy with a worse ground resistances and on the left we have a guy with a better ground resistances the same equipment the same crew everything is pretty much the same apart camo you see the difference between this is very 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 minimal boys and girls ladies and gentlemen let's see the hard ground resistances are pretty much one percent of the map unless you like to um, drive through the swamps like a shrek and now we are taking a look into 1% of all maps, which are swamps and they are marked on the mini map like a swampy areas like this, pretty much darker on the max map, right? How big of the difference uh, that is? Even though Super Conqueror start a tiny touch earlier, right? The difference is still not that humongous as uh, it could be, right? Considering his ground resistances are significantly better than mine. Uh, my main mission is to show you how the speed differentiates between, between this field modification when it's taken and whenever it's not taken while using absolutely everything the same. I will show you footage now um, about the mouse 
same test and about IS-7, the same test, because it, those tanks have a different um, speed brackets. IS-7 is super quick and the mouse is super slow. Enjoy the editing. So this is the testing which we have made. Um, and as you can see, difference honestly is not that big. So skill, uh, but you are faster anyways. Why would you recommend for people not to use it? Well, there is a drawback, fellas. Uh, this is the thing and we need to talk about this as well. But first of all, what we are going to talk about is how tracking mechanics works. And I'm pretty sure not many people know that track has hit points. Just like tank has hit points, track has hit points as well. That's why sometimes we track tra a tank from one shot, sometimes we need two shots, uh, and so on, so on. So where we can check it out? Well, uh, not in the game. <laughs> I never thought the day will come when I will say, yeah, you cannot check it out in the game, but yeah. Um, there is no information in the game about the tracking, so uh, luckily sites like TanksGG exists. And in the nutshell, we are going to cover tier 10 heavy tanks, and there is two tracking hit points values out there. Either it's 250 track, which majority of the tier 10 heavy tanks has, or some exceptions like a mouse, right? By the way, this is where you are seeing the tracking health. Or there is another example, Mr. Mouse 300 tracking health. That's what we need to know um, for now, right? How you are removing the health of the track, right? Does uh, the caliber matter? No. Uh, so what matters? Skill. Alpha damage matters. So if you are shooting mouse with 300 alpha damage gun and your roll is 300 plus, you are going to track the mouse from one shot. If you are shooting the mouse and um, you are rolling 299, you are going to make mouse track orange and with the next shot you are going to track the mouse. Now what is happening when the tank doesn't have a hardening and the tank repaired his tracks? There is different tracking value. As an example, on the Mr. Mouse, it is 225. So pretty much most of the tanks can uh, track you in one shot. On the Super Conqueror, it is 190. Right? Remember those numbers. This is quite important thing. And uh, we will get to the point and I will show um, everything for you. So... Why this um, field modification is so bad skill? So if you would pay attention at this, if you are taking uh, all terrain resistance, uh, well, you can see that your tracking hit points are taking minus 10%. So instead of having 250 tracking health, you are having only 225. So that basically means even pilot can come to you and track you in one shot. And in the heat of the battle, that actually matters and it is very important thing. Same goes with repair a track hit points, even though it's not shown uh, in the tanks GG, uh, but you have 10% less of the hit points. So pretty much you have 171 instead of 190. We have done tests i am going to show everything in a moment right but look the most important thing of all of this is you can boost your track health with a couple of the important things in the game as an example equipment improved hardening right as an example your track health is becoming 412 which is very good so that means for super conqueror in order to track you reliably he needs to a uh, high roll right and plus on top of that since the difference is not that big between um, better ground resistances and worse ground resistances why not to take more track hit points so with this co with this combination of the things, Super Conqueror has uh, 453 tracking hit points, right? And what is happening if Super Conqueror wants to be tiny touch quicker? 
he has 371. Now you are going to see examples of all of this, how it works in the in the real time and how the tracking testing uh, looks like overall. I will comment all of on all of this and we are going to have a conversation to prove this whole theory and how the things are looking like. Okay, fellas, let's take a look into our example. We have two super conquerors. The super conqueror with this beautiful, magnificent camo you are seeing in front is the super conqueror who has tiny touch more speed, but he has less track health. And I am uh, the other super conqueror who is significantly harder to track and he actually needs to uh, high roll quite a lot. Let's see how the things are looking like, right? So starting our test, we rolled uh, 378 which pretty much is a higher number than 371, which you can see here, right? So he is getting tracked from the very first try, right? This is important thing. Uh, please uh, keep this in mind and pay attention at the numbers. This is important example. After that, 375, once again, significantly bigger number, and he is getting tracked, right? 367. As you can see, his track is not damn, it's not gone. He still can drive because I significantly low roll at him, and I he is not going to be tracked from the very first shot thanks to the hardening. Without hardening, obviously, he would be tracked, right? This is the most important thing to highlight of all of this. Uh, the rolls of the damage, if I am super unlucky, he is going to pretty much not get tracked from the very first shot. Now, how the things are looking like whenever you are shooting into the guy which has uh, uh, hardening and proper field modifications, huh? Now you are going to see example of the Super Conqueror with a proper setup, uh, uh, with buffet tracks and whatnot. Please keep in mind this number, which is uh, 453, so that basically means Super Conqueror needs to high roll you in order to track you from the very first shot, or alternatively IS-7 needs to uh, low roll you in order not to be tracked. This is as an example, right? And looking into all of this, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, Let's let's take a look into the rolls and how the things are looking like. As you can see, tracks are only yellow. Uh, tracks, once again, are only yellow. Now we are doing this not to lose any hit points whatsoever. And as you can see, what I'm trying to say, I'm trying to say it is significantly harder to track the tank like this compared to the tank, which is like literally one meter quicker, right? It's just how it goes. And this is the perfect example of all of of this. If I track the other Super Conqueror pretty much uh, most of the time, right? This uh, I haven't gotten tracked a single time uh, from the very first shot, right? That's what I'm trying to highlight for you. Another very important thing to highlight where the track mechanics goes, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. So, first of all, the most important thing to highlight is you are taking the full tracking damage via the frontal wheel and via the back wheel. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we are talking about um, about a, any tank model, right? It doesn't really matter. The tank has wheels. You are hitting him in the front wheels. It will take the full uh, uh, damage as um, showcased with a super conqueror, right? But what is happening whenever you are shooting the tank into the side wheels, right? I believe many of you had situation whenever you are flanking someone tank uh, is tracked and then you are shooting wherever you can, right? Well, apparently the math is adding up to be one to three damage ratio. That being said, if you have 300 alpha damage, you are hitting into one of the middle wheels, you are going to do only one third of the damage. So in this situation, only 100 damage towers the tracking health. Let's see this example and let's talk about this. This is very, very important. So let's count the alpha rolls. As you can see, 320 is the very first shot. After that, we have 312. And last but not least, 
we have 261. That being said, as you can see, enemy track is still damaged, but it's still holding on, and it is uh, it is completely fine. You know, tank uh, tank can drive as much as he wants to. So we are going for a fourth shot, and with a fourth shot, we are removing his tracks. His gun, GG, finito, game over. And now. He repaired the fully tracks and we are testing out the alpha damage. So if 800 uh, something did not track this vehicle, uh, surely 900 would track him. So three shots needed Aka, just uh, one third of the of the damage counts, right? This is a test, this is to show how this mechanic works and you will understand um, that it is significantly get a, a better to shoot in the frontal track or into the back track overall, right? This is why we are doing this. So with a very far shot, we are hitting 340, so that means he lost uh, uh, 100 something hit points, another shot 300, another 100 hit points. And now if we are going to roll more than 270 which we did we are tracking him from the three shots why am i showing this test because some people might think it doesn't matter where you shoot uh, where the track goes you are going to do the um, you have the same chance to track the tank no it's not the case everything is depending where you are shooting the track that is super important thing to highlight so fellas i hope you found this video interesting i hope this video helped you significantly to understand what is uh, behind the tracking mechanics, how to increase your tracking health if you are having a problem that you are getting uh, tracked all the time, right? And hopefully overall it will help you to feel significantly more comfortable uh, in the battle. I would highly recommend to check out the tracking uh, hit points in the tanks gg page just to uh just to figure out um what setup works the best for you and keep this in mind fellas that this um this field modification aka all terrain resistance it looks good on the paper but it is killing your gains uh, uh, quite a bit and it is not that um, much worth it right you are in other words you are paying a humongous price for this if you found this video interesting and you enjoyed yourself, it gave a bit of knowledge for you. Feel free to like the video. I would highly appreciate that. And go, let's go to track some tanks, shall we?